Hey everybody, it's Bria Lauren, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I wanted to come to you guys and actually sit and talk and chat and say what's up. Not only that, there's a new line out. I know you've seen it, it's the Mayo Organics Pomegranate and Honey line. And what's special about the line is that they have four stylers. Four stylers. And so I was looking and seeing what, you know, so we have the Twisting Souffle, the Leave-In Conditioner, the curl smoothie and the curling custard. Can someone tell me what's the difference between all four of these? <laughs> if you are not a product junkie, then you probably have no idea. Even if you are a product junkie, you probably still have no idea because I still was scratching my head and like, what's the difference? Because you know, you kind of might feel pressured to get all of these and try all of these, but. I'm going to sacrifice a good hair day to see which product gives me the best definition, the best moisture, best shine, and just the best look overall. So I'm going to put my hair into four separate sections and style my hair with each product on each section. And then once it's dry, we'll take it out and we'll see what is the difference. So let's get started. So the key thing about this line from Mayo Organics from their pomegranate and honey line is that it's meant for type four hair, it's meant for tight, curly, coily girls. So if you're in the, in the four family somewhere, it's for you. The key thing about this line is that it's meant for moisture. Pomegranate and honey is really meant for moisture. I know that us type four girls, especially going into the fall and winter months, our hair struggles with staying moisturized. So this line will be perfect for the fall and the winter to leave your hair moisturized. Well, which product will give me the best moisture is the question. I'm gonna go with what I think will give me the best definition up front because if it does happen that turns out a little bit frizzy in the back, I can do a little woo woo and we are gonna make it work. Starting with the curling custard. So the, the main point of this product they say is to help the tangle and smooth your hair. The directions say to apply to damp or dry hair. Section here and apply a product generously by finger combing through the section. Allow hair to air dry, diffuse, add volume. Mainly probably for wash and go. I have used this for wash and go. It works really good, but I'm gonna use on the twist out today. My hair is already washed is deep conditioned and it is air dried. It's a little bit damp, but not too damp. And I wanna start on this, my hair is clean. Um, I do have a little bit of oil in my hair, a little bit of argan oil, but that is it, nothing else. So we're gonna only use these products. So let's start with the front. This, in this entire line smells really good. Pomegranate and honey, that's all I can really say. The best way to describe this is what it's called, pomegranate and honey. It has a very sweet smell to it, but not too strong and overbearing. And what I like about the custard is it is very slimy, it has like a jelly consistency. So we going I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this, apply it to my hair, and off top, it does feel extremely smooth on my hair. My hair is already detangled, but you know, I love using a nibbing brush. I don't feel like I have enough product on my roots, so let me get those roots. Want to get to the root or to the tuna? So yeah, this product feels pretty good. It feels very smooth on my hair. And since it's really good for wash and goes, I'm kind of almost certain that it's gonna give me really good definition because if anything can get my curls to pop as a wash and go, you can get my curls to pop to anything else pretty much. So it's just the point of how does your hair feel afterwards when you take down the twist. That's like kind of the deciding factor. You guys let me know if you actually like me sitting down. And well, I'm standing up, but <laughs> you guys let me know if you actually like me talking to you guys and going through products like this and actually giving you my initial thoughts and versus a voiceover. Just let me know. Okay guys, so the first section is done with the custard and overall, I think it's gonna give me some really good definition. The only thing I don't like about it is that the product is extremely sticky and it has a very kind of a filmy feeling to it. All right, so now we're gonna go to the back 
you are right, the back of my left. And we are going to use the curl smoothie. Now what I do like about this is that it comes in the pump so it's very easy to control. And this says it's for thick curly hair, leaving hair soft and manageable. Just like all the rest of them. <laughs> Again, I like this because it has a pump so I don't have to use too much product. I just can grab a nice little pump. This is how one pump looks, just one. And it's very, it's a lot fluffier. It's very creamy, but it's very fluffy and light. It definitely doesn't have that sticky feeling like how the custard felt, but I feel like I need to add just a lot of the product for it to get my hair, for me to feel like it's coating my hair. So far, these products feel good on my hair, so I think I'm going to love the results of each section. It just depends on the look I'm going for. I really like how the curling smoothie just melts in my hair. All right, you guys, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties, and we missed the last when I was recording with the leave-in conditioner. I did use the leave-in conditioner on the bottom right, and it did work okay. I'm a little bit worried because I don't style with just leave-ins. Leave-ins are usually just something I use, and then I go in with the styler. So I'm a little bit worried that I might not give me the definition that I want. But when I started applying to my hair, it was making my hair feel really good and moisturized, but it had this really filmy, greasy type of texture, sort of like Vaseline. I don't wanna say it was as thick, but that same type of greasy texture that you do when you do like this with Vaseline was kind of the same thing with this one, but it's not as thick. This is a little bit thinner than that. So now we're just gonna go ahead and start with the twisting souffle. And the twisting souffle is extremely, extremely thick, very thick, it, like you see some parts is like really heavy and weighs my hair down and clumps it like that. Other parts, it kind of frizzes up. So this is something you're going to have to work in really good. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just that that means that the product is really thick. So, so I'm really not sure about how this twist out is going to turn. I'm really curious to see. So for the sake of this video, because I got some stuff I got to do, I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer for about an hour. I believe my hair should be dry by then because I did do this style on sort of dry, damp hair, so it shouldn't take too long to dry. So hopefully about an hour, and then I'll be back to give you my final opinion. Okay, so I believe my hair is 100% dry. I sat under my hooded dryer. The products felt oily enough to where I don't need any additional oils, but we'll see. I'm noticing like on some of the twists, like right here, the product was way too heavy and like made the ends of my hair shrinky. These twists with the custard feel a little crunchy, so let's take these twists down and see. I don't know if I'm gonna do, okay, let's just start with this one. So first, let's go ahead and separate the back left section, with, which was the curl smoothie. This is another part. So the definition can be there, but how separating? Separating is easy. You just wanna separate where it naturally wants to separate. And sometimes I notice that when I take down my twist, that my hair will be defined, but then once I separate, my hair just goes into a big frizzy mess. So that's kind of the next deciding factor. How does it separate? Okay guys, so all the twists are taken down and separated and honestly, I'm not really telling any difference with my hair. Slight differences, but I'll get to that in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pick and pick my hair out and fluff it the way I like. I will be right back to give you my final thoughts on the pomegranate and honey line from Mill Organics. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Overall, this is a really good line. It's extremely moisturizing, it smells amazing, and 
that's a plus. Like, so either way it go, with whatever product you choose from the Mio Organics Pomegranate and Honey Collection, you'll be good. But there are some differences. I would say the least is leave-in conditioner, at least for a twist out. Maybe to layer this with another product, but right here, it, did, it, it didn't give me that best results. And after fluffing and picking, it's already super frizzy and I just fluffed it out like a second ago. So, eh, my favorite product is, ooh, I almost dropped that. My favorite product is the Curling Custard. One, because I did use this on the wash and go. If you wanna see me do a wash and go with this product, let me know in the comments below. I will do that for you. But one, I kinda already knew this was gonna work and this gave me the best definition. This was the best product. It was ext it's extremely moisturizing and gave me really good definition. I'm not sure if you can see, but definition is everything all the way down to the ends. My hair is extremely moisturizing and I feel like this is gonna last me for a long time. Like I can do a, a twist out with this product and have it good for at least a week. It does have a slight film. Like if I look really close at my hair, I can see the product on my hair just a little bit. It doesn't bother me, but I am concerned that if I was to use this with anything else, that it would flake. But overall, this is my favorite because it gave me the best definition, the best moisture, and stretched my curls out, and I can fluff my hair and it still not give me any frizz. The Twisting Souffle was okay. This is the Twisting Souffle area right here. It did give me really good definition, but not as good as this side. I can tell that this might not last me as long as a whole week. This part might last me two, three days. So this is a very, very soft hold. So if you're just looking for something a little bit more of a softer hold that would give you some more volume, but really good definition, I would go with the Twisting Souffle. So it's not bad, it just depends on the look you're going for. And the Curl Smoothie, this is the Curl Smoothie on, over here. This is the Curl Smoothie over here. And this was okay as well. And I'm glad I put, I did what I did. I'm glad I put the curl smoothie and the leave-in conditioner in the back because I kind of had that feeling that it wasn't gonna give me the best definition like the curling custard and the souffle would. And I was right because the back areas are a lot more frizzy in the back. Not too much, I mean, not too much, but I'm just being really extremely picky right now because I'm reviewing the products. Overall, really good products. It works amazing. Again, I would suggest you either pick up the curling custard or the twisting souffle and but give them all a try. Let me know which ones you've tried, if you have tried them before. Leave it in the comments below if you want to see me use these products for any other tutorials, wash and goes, three strand twist, whatever. Be creative, give me some ideas, give me something to do. You guys, after a day of wearing the twist out, the curling custard made so many flakes on my hair. It looked like I had never washed my hair in months. I really had to wash my hair out and retwist my hair because it looked so bad. So the twisting souffle, I would say I would recommend if you want to try anything from this line. But honestly, I can't say that I love this entire line, unfortunately. I want to, but I can't. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss a video from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.